Hey guys, Alex here, AJNashville.com. Not sure if you can hear me very well. I'm headed back from Atlanta where I had the awards ceremony last night for top 100 producers. Um, but it got me thinking. So as I'm driving, obviously I do a lot of different thinking, um, kind of reflection time, things like that. Uh, and like the title says, internal investigation. So what I mean by that is I've seen a lot of posts recently where people say, hey, what's the best mortgage company to go to, company to, go to or um, what's the best mortgage company out there? And the biggest thing that I know with that is a lot of us tend to just take the advice of others, make the switch, jump to a different company, um, or we sometimes think it's time to switch. In reality, we need to look within ourselves to make sure that we're doing everything possible to be successful and that it's not our failure as opposed to the company's failure because a lot of us will get stagnant staying where we're at and not realize that we haven't done anything to change our surroundings and what i mean by that is you're a loan officer you produce eight ten loans a month um you're standing there and you're thinking god this company sucks this is horrible you know i need to find something better if only i had that other job i would do 25 deals a month or if only i had a better company i'd do more production every month and in actuality, it's the activities that you continue to do consistently on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, eight to 10 loans a month is, is pretty good. But uh, what I mean by the consistency and doing the same things is you're doing the exact same thing that you've done every month, closing that eight to 10 units, as opposed to taking a step up and um, doing something different to take that eight to 10 to 12 to 14 or to take that 12 to 14 to 16 to 18 deals. Now, when I say eight to 10 units, I know a lot of you, uh, and I, I don't mean you that are viewing this, but a lot of loan officers out there don't even come close to that. And they turn around and they look at their surroundings and they say, ah, oh, it's the company, the underwriting sucks. Um, my processor, she sucks, you know, uh, whatever the case may be, we never look at ourselves and do the internal investigation on ourselves to say, is it me that sucks? Uh, and what I mean by me that sucks um, is are you doing the activities it takes to make it? You know, if, if once again we fall back doing the same thing over and over and over and over again and not realizing that it's not going to get us anywhere and we think that the underwriting, the processing change, the company logo change, hey guys, what's the best mortgage company out there? Here's the thing, most mortgage companies are created equal. If you're out looking for a mortgage company, find one that fits your needs, one that's uh, and I hate using the word culture, but if you do a lot of VA loans, find a company that's very strong in VA. If you do a lot of first time home buyers, find a company that's very strong in first time home buyers. And the reason why I'm even bringing that up is because there are situations where uh, it's just not a perfect fit. You know, I had a lady last night, she asked me, she, she said, uh, so do you do a lot of jumbo loans out there? I said, no. She said, well, why not? Jumbo loans are the best. And said, no, they're not. Helping veterans is the best for me. That's what I focus on. That's what I enjoy closing. That's what I enjoy doing. So helping veterans is something I look to do and I want no part of jumbo loans. Why? Because I'm not great at jumbo loans. That's not what I specialize in. I specialize in a very defined scope of clients. Now I do all types of loans, but I specialize in veterans. So why would I try to help uh, jumbo buyers if that's just not what I'm good at? You know, I'm not gonna leave my agent partners with pie on their face because they sent me a $750,000 deal that I had a couple hiccups on because uh, it's not something that I'm great at. So once again, internal investigation, you need to look within yourself to make sure that what it is that you're doing is the right things, the right activities to be successful. Make sure that it's not you if you go pointing fingers and thinking about switching companies. Here's the one thing I know, it costs about $7,000 to hire a person in the first 30 days of employment between license transferring um, and a couple other things that go into it. If you think that, hey, me jumping in this company, suddenly everything's gonna fix all my problems, I'm gonna close more deals, I'm gonna be more successful, second think that. Look internally, look at your problems, look at it is what you're doing. Are you on Friday afternoon watching the clock, waiting for four o'clock to roll around so you can jump out and go to the local pub and have beers and celebrate the shit that you didn't do this week? because I know there's a lot of loan officers out there that do that, because I used to do that. I used to be the one that would wait till four o'clock and be like, all right, it's time to go party, come on, let's go get drunk and, and celebrate 
closing five loans this month. Woo! -hoo. You know? And being here in Atlanta and seeing some of the things that I've seen and just looking back at where I've been to where I am puts a lot of these things into perspective. Um, I look at the partying and shit that I used to do that didn't generate money. And I look at the times where I thought that the problem was the company when the problem was actually me. Um, if you're a producer, you can produce anywhere as long as you can get a file underwritten and closed. Now, there are some companies that struggle severely with that. And if you're in that type of company and you are doing the right activities, then it is time to look somewhere else. But here's the one thing I will tell you before you go out and search for a new company. If you ask me what the best company in the world is, I'm gonna tell you Hancock Mortgage. Why? Because I'm very partial to that company because I love the things they do. Just like this week, Johnny Fowler flew into Johnson City. Uh, Greg Peckman, one of the other branch managers with Hancock in East Tennessee. Everybody got together to make something that was very special happen. And when I say very special, I mean something that's gonna give a great advantage to this agent uh, and to this developer. To me, that's a, a sign of a very, very strong company. But that may not be the company for you. If you specialize in first time home buyers or something like that, not first time home buyers, I'm sorry, down payment assistance programs, Hancock's not for you. But if you go out and ask, hey, what the best comp what's the best company in the world? I'm gonna tell you Hancock. So the thing is you have to investigate on what it is that you wanna do and how you wanna be successful and what it is that you're looking for in a, pro in a company program wise uh, personality wise, you know, the, the thing is us guys at Hancock, you can literally take one of us out of our office and swap us around with somebody Watch else. Watch out, a different pothole office, on road ahead. And you will get the same result. Basically the, the personalities are very similar. And if you look at other companies, it's the same way. Personalities are going to be very similar within those companies because they have a certain environment that they work well in and they're, they're focused on the same goal. So anyways, that's my rant for the day driving back. Hopefully I don't hit this bad weather that's supposed to be coming. Um, once again, internal investigation. It doesn't matter if you're a mortgage loan officer or if you're a banker or a realtor, uh, if you sell car parts, it doesn't matter what you do. If you're not happy where you're at, look within yourself to make sure it's not you that's unhappy. And if it's the environment, then find an environment that really fits you. Not somebody else, not what's the lowest rates, the best company, the lowest, whatever. Find a place that fits you. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. Also, thank you for all the support. Most of you know last night I received an award for top 100 originators. This is a national award. There'll be a press release for it today. Um, very, very honored for that. I have to thank every single one of you. I have to thank my underwriters, my processors, my loan officer assistants, uh, everybody that, that's involved in this. Here's the thing. I'm only a small portion in being successful. Each of you that recommend your trusted people to me or anything like that are, are the bigger portion of my success, and I'm very thankful for that. Hopefully that success continues, and if there's anything I can do to help you grow, please reach out to me. Thanks.